The race for Motutapu is a half-hour documentary about the efforts being made to save Auckland's island sanctuary. It celebrates the 10-year anniversary of the unique multi-sport race, Partners Life Jewel, which raises funds for the largest restoration endeavour in New Zealand. Mark Richardson loves it, and he is here to tell us all about it, fronting the documentary as well, which we'll tell you about in just a minute. Welcome, Mark. Great to have you here. Yeah, um, okay, so tell me about Motutapu. How different is the island, say, from 25 years ago? Oh, 25 years ago, you know, we all we all knew it was there. It's the it's the oldest landform actually in, in the area, but it was just overrun by pests. It was rabbits and cats and mice and wallabies. Shane Warne, Steve Smith, you name it. If they're a pest, <laughs> they were over on that island. <laughs> they were there. Yeah. And um, and the wildlife on the island, you know, obviously part of the restoration is to bring back that wildlife. So what were they hoping to achieve? Well, we want to get um, that, that island sanctuary back. We want to give it back to New Zealand native birds. We want to, we want, you know, there's, there's 58 kiwis mm -hmm. on it now. Um, well, there's uh, takahe. There's only 250 of them left in the world. Well, there's incredible. A, there's a few yeah. families of them wandering around the island. In fact, they become they become a pest themselves. You go oh. over there, you need to run them over. Nice. You know, <laughs> which is fantastic. It's a good, good place yeah, to be. There's birds like the, the shore plover, which there's only about 180 of them on the planet as well. So we're giving it back to the natives of New Zealand, and, and, and that's fantastic, you know? Uh, the, you know, Motutapu, I guess, is an island that a lot of Aucklanders haven't visited, but it is a complete sanctuary now. It's a conservation area, isn't it? Mm. So with that, uh, there's the Partners Life Jewel that runs alongside it. Is that what got you into the restoration of Motutapu? Was it the involvement with the, jewel, with the Partners Life Jewel? Oh, I'm a bit of a greenie at heart. Oh, right. You know, okay. I'm probably not going to put on a cardigan and, and a bearer and go protesting around the corner anytime soon. But <laughs> I, I love this planet and I think we are stuffing it up. Right. Um, and, and I think we should be able to use our planet as a playground responsibly. And this is what I love about um, what they're doing uh, with the restoration of Rangitoto and Motutapu is you can go over and use it. It's, it's not about sitting back and going, oh, isn't that lovely? Right. It's, it's saying, hey, this is, this is your playground. Get out there, use it. And that's what the Partners Life Jewel has allowed people to do. Once a, it's only once a year you can go and ride on it. Right. But you can go over there and enjoy it any time you like and go and and go and run on it, it's just, you know, make sure you do things right. Don't introduce, reintroduce pests onto the island. So, so what is the jewel, though? Is it a bike race, is it a running race, is it a marathon, or is it a whole combination of the above? Bingo. Right, you name okay. them all. Yeah, nice. yeah it is. It's, it's, well, it's, it's called a multi-sport event, but there's a triathlon mm -hmm. uh, that involves an off-road uh, ride and an off-road run as well. Uh, there's a marathon um, that's tough. I've done it myself, and it's a, it's a, it's a beauty, actually, right. it's, it's, and it's very varied. Um, there's two different uh, mountain bike events. There's also uh, a half marathon run. There's a 10K run. There's a 10K walk. There's a 6K walk. Uh, so Graham Henry was doing the 10K walk Brilliant. actually in, in, in this one. So it's um yeah, there's, there's lots you can do. That, hence multi sport event. And, what, and so what the entry money for the event goes towards the restoration of the island and the conservation. Is that how it works? Yeah, it does. So okay, every cool. entry. Uh, in the jewel pays for the planting of four trees. Okay, great. Cool. You know, and that's what it's all about. We want to have the birds, the mm. wildlife back over there. You've got to have the trees. You've got to give them a, a habitat. And um, so, yeah, we're planting trees. And a lot of the farmland has been given back to planting, which is great. great. Yeah. And do you think this is a great conservation model for the rest of the world to be looking at? Look, there are times, like what we've got in the Waitakere Ranges with the curry dieback, where yeah. you, you've got to stay out. You just got to stay out. But this is one example where, if we look after this place and we're responsible, we can enjoy it. And that's what I want to stress: is anyone could go across there. So this is a great model of, of here's something to enjoy. Here's an event. Get out there. Get in the great outdoors. Get the benefits from that 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 come. And there are many. But also, what you're doing is you're improving the land for which you're using. Uh, as well in the process. One of the biggest pest eradication programs ever held, uh, Motutapu, and they managed to get rid of all the, the pests there. So with people going over all the time, how do they control that? Well, a lot of it, if you're just going to go over there personally, a lot of it is your responsibility. Okay. Make, make sure you're not carrying any rodents with you. Right. Uh, keep things in sealed containers. Um, you know, make sure there's no ants. I mean, ants general are okay, but there's Argentine ants, which are no, no, they, they in such numbers they can okay. take over an, an island. So just be just be careful, be responsible. Um, you obviously want to use some detergent on the soles of your feet as well to protect, because there is calorie over there. Oh, nice, yep. Um, 
And and when any large group goes over there, of course, Doc gets involved and, and they have these these little dogs, which you can pat, by the way. They're yeah. not going to take your, <laughs> your fingers off. Yeah. Um, but they're trained to sniff out the rodents and right. the ants and, and the like. So Doc gets involved and makes sure that people are doing things right. But I, it's also a personal responsibility. Self-responsibility. No, I like that. That's good. And you, oh, look, I don't want to give too much away because this documentary is going to reveal it. But I thought it was really nice, the tributes that you, you paid to a, an idol of yours by naming yeah. a Kiwi. That must be a very very special moment. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, you know, when, when you get uh, given a kiwi to release into the wild, that was a really uh, humbling experience, actually, and quite emotional, mm. to tell you the truth. Um, you know, I see myself as a, as a bit of a sort of, a, you know, hard after kiwi bloke and and I was you know quite moved by allowing this little kiwi to go so he's over there uh, he's kiwi number 54 he's over there trying to uh, do his bit for breeding as mm -hmm. we speak right now um, but yeah I was put on the spot when it came to naming him and um, the iwi the, the iwi leader uh, James Brown uh, said look we need it we need a name yes and it needs to be a meaningful name it needs to mean <laughs> something we all need to know the message behind why you name this kiwi um, what he is and I was put on the spot and I was panicking. I was like, I need to come up with something meaningful here. I can't name it after myself. No. That'd be dreadfully arrogant. <laughs> it wouldn't yeah. surprise me. It <laughs> probably, probably wouldn't get the job done that's required. So, um, uh, yeah, I came up with a name and I'm proud of it. And you'll have to wait to the show to actually see what I called the Kiwi. Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a side of you, Mark, that I'd never seen before, actually. And I was really grateful. And uh, that's why you need to watch that documentary to find out more about that. And you inspire me, actually, to get involved. You know, go and plant some trees at Motutapu mm -hmm. and get involved. Go and see it. Go and see this land. How, how does someone watch? at home get involved with the projects that they've got going on there? Uh, get hold of the Marotopia Restoration Trust. Yep. Um, that, that's, I mean, that's your first port of call. Yep. Uh, just get involved with the event. Right, okay, I mean, cool. It's, it's a yearly thing. It's going to continue. This is the 10th year. Yes. Um, and you can go to totalsport.co.nz to, to find out a bit more about uh, the jewel as okay, well. Okay, cool. Just get involved. But, but I just want people to get outside. Yeah. Y you know... Use New Zealand and, and use it responsibly. Get out there, get off your, get off the couch nice. after you've finished watching this show, of course. Yes. And and enjoy what we've got in this country because we're blessed. Yeah, no, you, and you're and you've displayed that beautifully with the clips that I've seen in this um, doco, which is going to be fantastic. And uh, yeah, as I said, aside, I, I never thought I'd see of Mark Richardson. I know you're a busy man. So thank you so much for coming in, Mark. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And the race for Motutapu screens on Sunday at 5:30 on three.